You are now tuned in to the network, Bruh. the YouTube channel that takes complex networking topics and dumps it down to a more simpler language. Today's topic is verify IP parameters for client OS or operating systems, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. This is section 1.10 of the CCNA exam. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So remember we said in several videos uh, in this series, we said to communicate on the network, we need an IP address. We need, we need to get on the internet. We need an IP address, right? But there are four IP settings that we would need on our device to communicate on the network or the internet, right? Those four components are the IP address, the subnet mask, the default gateway, which would be our router, right? So let's say we're this laptop right here. Our default gateway to get out of the internet, we need to get out of the internet. We need to go to through our default gateway, which would be this router right here. He's our default gateway. And then we need our DNS servers. This guy right here, he's going to be the device that is going to um, translate an IP address to a an actual URL or name domain name, right? And we need that obviously because let's say for example, you need to get on uh, Instagram.com, right? As humans, we're gonna we're not gonna remember 157.240.208.174, right? That's the IP address, believe it or not, for Instagram, right? Nobody's gonna remember those numbers, right? It's easier as a human to remember Instagram.com. Well, that's what DNS. A DNS server does. It'll take that IP address, convert it or translate it to a domain name for us to, uh, you know, to get onto that website, right? That's one of the components that we need, the DNS server. So again, we need our IP address to communicate, the subnet mask, which the default gateway, which is the router that we use to get out, get out of the, uh, our local area network, and also the DNS server, which translates the IP address to the domain name, right? Those are the four things that we need for our IP settings. There are three common operating systems. There's more than this, right? But these are the most common you'll see on a computer or a laptop, right? Windows, Mac OS, or Linux, right? And we're gonna, we're gonna uh, talk about the different ways that we can verify our IP settings on each of these operating systems. Now, we're not gonna go over, like say for, for, for an Android cell phone, you can actually you know, look up the, those four client settings that we mentioned to, to verify your subnet mask and your default gateway, et cetera, et cetera, right? But that's not very, uh, it's, a, it's a common operating system, but for computers, laptop, and for the sake of this exam, we're just gonna, we're just gonna talk about verifying those IP settings on these three operating systems. Now we need to verify it. The reason why they made, uh, they put this bullet point is because when we're troubleshooting the network, we need to uh, verify our IP settings, right? Those four components that I mentioned earlier, the IP address, the subnet mask, the default gateway, and DNS service. On a Windows PC, you just open up a command prompt. How do you do that? You just type in, you know, the Windows key and then CMD for command, and then type in the letters or the word IP config, and that'll bring up those four components that we were talking about. Notice right here, the IP address is located right here. You have the subnet mask that I mentioned earlier. We got our default gateway. Notice we don't see the DNS server, right? We don't have any information on the DNS server. How do we do that? Well, guess what? You're gonna have to put IP config slash all so we put ip config and we just type in slash all that's also going to give us not only our ip address located right here we are also going to get our subnet mask our default gateway and look at that we're also going to get information on a dhcp server which we'll cover that in another video that's the actual device that's going to give us these ip settings and stuff like that and then look at that the dns servers so that's well, when we type in slash that all uh, that slash all switch is what they call it uh that's going to give us the uh, other information that we need. We'll also, we'll also get some other uh, helpful information like our MAC address, uh, DNS suffix and stuff like that, uh, information about our NIC card and things like that. So we'll also look, uh, it also tells us information on how long our DHCP li lease is, et cetera. That's how, that's how it's done on a Windows PC. Let me see if I can show y'all real quick. So you just type in the, win uh, the Windows key like this right here, right? And then uh, just type in CMD, just like that I, I mentioned before. Press enter and then IP config. And I'm not going to do that because I don't want y'all to see my IP address and stuff like that. Bruh. Even though that's a private IP address, but I don't want y'all to get my MAC address or whatever. So, and then you just type in what I just told y'all, right? Now on uh, Linux or Mac OS, very similar. You're going to open up a command prompt. I'm not too sure how to do it. I don't have a Mac or a Linux, so. Bruh. Just type in IF config as opposed to IP config, and that's going to give you the same information that we were talking about. But not same, but we're just going to get, it's just going to be laid out a little bit different here, differently. As you can see right here, we have our 
internet address or IP address. It's just going to say INET address like that. We have our, this is the broadcast address. We don't need that. The subnet mask that we mentioned earlier. But notice we don't have what? What are we missing here? The DNS server and our default gateway. How do we get that information? Well, guess what? I'm not too sure on a Linux or a Mac OS, but I believe if you just go through the GUI, you'll be able to get those settings or the graphical user interface. You got to go through the menus and stuff like that to gather that information that I mentioned earlier, right? So you're going to click the Apple icon. Again, I don't have the, uh, a Mac OS or a Linux computer. So, well, I just got some screenshots here. You just click on the Apple icon at the top left screen and then uh, select system preferences. So you got the Apple icon right there. You go to system preferences. Then you're going to click network. We're going to click that globe right here. As you can see right there, the network icon. Then you're going to click on advanced, right, which is located right here. You click on advanced, and then you're going to, you're going to see, like, your NIC card or the SSIDs and stuff like that over here, information on that. And then you're going to click the TIC, TCP IP tab right there. And you're going to be able to find the uh, subnet mask, like I mentioned earlier. So same thing. It's going to give us our subnet mask and our IP address. But guess what? It says right here, router. God bless Mac OS, man. <laughs> but that's our default gateway right there. That's the information that we were also looking for. But we were also looking for what else? The DNS server, right? That's the device that's going to uh, translate URL or domain name to an IP address and vice versa, right? We're going to click the DNS tab, which is located right next to TCP IP. Once we do that, then we will be able to get information on our DNS service. That's how you'll be able to get that extra information on a Mac on a Mac computer. Now, I'm not going to go over that stuff for Linux computer. Uh, there are so many Linux distros. Shout out to my man, uh, Josh at Tick, Keep It Techie, who loves Linux. And he, he has all these Linux distros that he likes to cover and stuff like that. But there's so many flavors of Linux. We just can't go over them all. But those are the basics that you, could, uh, that you need to uh, at least gather the basic uh, four components of, an, of IP settings for a, a client computer that we were mentioning. The IP address, subnet math, the DNS server, and our default gateway. That is all I got for y'all today. That is my YouTube page. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. That is my Twitter handle and that is my Instagram page if you want to, uh, you know, connect with me on a more personal level. Uh, for now, comment, like, subscribe to the network. Bruh.